The Bible is the most read book in history, but also one of the most mysterious. It has many hidden stories that most people miss. Even Christian scholars have a hard time understanding what everything written in the Bible means, which is why there are so many different interpretations of almost every verse. That is why many who are interested in learning more about the Bible also read many books that are inspired by it, but offer additional or different understanding. The Book of Enoch is one of them. It is a book quoted by the New Testament writers and referred to as Holy Scripture by the early church fathers and theologians, but it is also a book that is not recognized as canonical by the Council of Carthage in 397, meaning it was consigned to obscurity. Before it was included in the list of forbidden books in early Christianity, the Book of Enoch was considered one of the most authoritative texts. It gives its answers to the eternal question of the beginning of good and evil. You will not find this book or passages from it in most modern Bibles today. It is widely believed that the Book of Enoch was excluded from the official canon because its content was too controversial for the Christian community at the time. But reading this book could actually enrich your faith, shed light on some dark topics in the Bible, and even explain some things you might find difficult to understand. This is because it will open your eyes to a new world and reveal to you much about what has been in the past and what lies ahead in our near future. The Book of Enoch, The Book of the Watchers The Book of Enoch is an extremely voluminous work. If you are interested in learning more about it, you can watch our detailed video about the book in our channel. In this video, we will focus on one of the most interesting volumes in it, namely The Book of the Watchers. The Book of Enoch consists of over a hundred chapters spread over several separate books, many of which mention beings called Watchers, Guardians, and Nephilim. These observers have been interpreted by many as aliens because, depending on the context, they certainly have all the necessary attributes for this analogy. Briefly about the Book of Enoch The Book of Enoch is an ancient Jewish apocalyptic religious text traditionally attributed to Enoch, the great-grandfather of Noah. The ancient manuscript contains unique material on the origins of demons and the Nephilim, why some angels fell from heaven, why the flood in Genesis was morally necessary, and more. The older parts of the first Enoch and mainly the Book of the Watchmen as texts date from about 320 to 200 BC, and the latest part, the Book of Proverbs, is probably from 100 BC. Various Aramaic, Koine Greek, and Latin fragments found in the Dead Sea Scrolls are evidence that the Book of Enoch was known to Jews and early Near Eastern Christians. This book is also quoted by some authors in the 1st and 2nd centuries, as in the Testaments of the Twelve Patriarchs. The authors of the New Testament were also familiar with some of its contents. Several copies of the earlier parts of 1st Enoch are preserved among the Dead Sea Scrolls. It is not part of the biblical canon used by Jews, except by Beta Israel, the Ethiopian Jews. While the Ethiopian Orthodox Tevahedo Church and the Eritrean Orthodox Church consider the Book of Enoch canonical, other Christian groups consider it non-canonical or uninspired, but may accept it as having some historical or theological interest. Today it is preserved in its entirety only in the Ethiopian language. For this and other reasons, the traditional Ethiopian belief is that the original language is the work of Gizek, while modern scholars argue that it was first written in Aramaic or Hebrew, the language is first used for Hebrew texts, but until now it is not known to be a surviving Hebrew version. Who are the watchers or guardians in the Book of Enoch? The word guardians used in the Book of Enoch is the same one found in the Book of Daniel, chapter 12, where it speaks of the angels who fell from heaven with Lucifer. The words watchers or guardians used can also be translated as safekeepers. These are spiritual beings who have the ability to travel between the world of humans and that of angels. The Book of Enoch says that these are the same angels who came down from heaven to observe the world of men but then fell in love with human women and had sexual relations with them. These fallen angels were technologically very advanced and taught humans all vices and evils, such as how to make weapons of war and unclean arts. In the Book of Enoch, they are also called fallen angels or great watchers. Where did the watchers or guardians come from in the Book of Enoch? The Book of Enoch explains that these fallen angels were located on a mountain called Hermon, which is located in the modern state of Israel. Hermon is the highest mountain in the region and is said in the Book of Enoch that it is the location where the fallen angels were. The manuscript tells that these angels were later condemned to remain in this place until the Day of Judgment and the end of the world. 
the book states that the angels must remain on the mountain until the end of days, when the world will experience its final reckoning. We also find an apocalyptic text that explains the events that will take place before or after the final judgment of mankind. There is a theory that the book was written as a warning to the early Jewish community not to fall into the same evil ways that the Watchers fell into. What did the Watchers do on earth, according to the Book of Enoch? The fallen angels did what they were sent to do, but in the process they became corrupt. They were sent to the human world as a punishment, and their duty was only to watch, but they were tempted by the beauty of earthly women. They began to share their knowledge with humans and taught them war and destruction. Although they were supposed to bring light and love to the human world, instead they actually brought darkness and impurity. Things took an even worse turn when fallen angels began to impregnate earthly women. Thus appeared a hybrid offspring called the Nephilim. The Nephilim were a race of superhumans who possessed the powers and abilities of both humans and angels. The Book of Enoch says that the Nephilim were horrible creatures, unclean and evil. Eventually, they also began to breed with the human women and created another hybrid race called the Giants. The Giants were a race of wild men who became impure, cruel, and brutal. In the Book of Enoch, it is said that the Giants were the most terrifying creatures known to mankind. What happened to the Watchers according to the Book of Enoch? The angels who came down from heaven and corrupted themselves from the world of men were cast out of heaven forever. They were deprived of their wings and condemned to eternal residence on earth. The fallen angels were also condemned to witness the final judgment of the world, after which they would be sent to a place of eternal torment. It was then that they were sent to live in the mountains of earth, where they would remain until the end of the world. There were fallen angels bound as divine punishment for their sins. The manuscript states that the giants would be forced to wage war among themselves as well as against humanity and the angels. This is why the book says that the future will be full of war and destruction and that the angels will be forced to watch all of this as punishment for their sins. And when men began to multiply upon the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair, and they took them wives of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit will not always fight with man, because he is also flesh. But his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. In those days there were giants on the earth, and also afterwards, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men, they bore them children, and the same became mighty men, who were of old men of glory. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that after imagination of his thoughts and of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord repented that he had created man on the earth, and it grieved him in his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and creeping thing, and birds of the air, because I repent that I have created them. He decided to cleanse the earth with a flood to start anew. But before the flood, he decided to give one more chance for repentance. He sent Enoch to warn the fallen angels. They refused to repent, so the flood came and washed them away. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And the merciful God had mercy on him and his family, and they were spared. The flood destroyed the Nephilim, the fallen angels, and the giants who lived among men, teaching them forbidden knowledge and tempting them to sinful deeds. The Book of Enoch is one of the most important yet neglected books outside of the Bible. It is a book that was written before the time of Christ, before the time of Moses, and before that of Abraham. It describes the life of the patriarch Enoch, who was a great-grandfather of Noah. Although the book is part of the Dead Sea Scrolls, it seemed to contradict other similar works. It has been declared apocryphal. In other words, even though it appears to be genuine, it is considered to be a questionable source. And for this reason, it is not included in the accepted version of the Bible. The truth is that it contradicts the Gospels by having descriptions that are uncomfortable, and that is regardless of whether it is credible or not. The Book of Enoch sheds light on many things in the Bible that are not easily explained. It also explains some parts of the Bible that are difficult to understand. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. If you like what we do, support us by sharing it with your friends.